So I put in my heart today to preach something very interesting that we need at the moment. We are the midst of pandemic, we are the midst of plan, of darkness, of the new world order, like a lot of threatful events all over the world. But as Christians, we must be cool and calm. Nobody else can move us from that position if Jesus don't allow. Mm. That's it. If Jesus cares for your hair, how much is that? He cares for your life. Hallelujah. So, my topic today, people of the living Jesus, is how to be a soul winner. Because I show in a church members and sometimes I ask with good uh, behavior. In your Christian life with the Lord, how many people you save? That's very important. What is the last time that you share your testimony and people accept you and now they are in His presence? How many people the Lord using you as a vessel to help others? Because Jesus cares. Because He is the Father of all creatures, but not a Savior yet. I remember that when I was a young guy, when Jesus called me, she tells me in a dream, I call you from the darkness to save you and to reveal you my plan that I have for you. But also, when you become teachable, I want to send you back into the darkness to bring out those who live there. That is our mission today. All right, we pray for a better life, we pray to have food, to have clothes, to have good jobs. Of course, Jesus cares for you to be physical, heal it, and spiritual, save it. Of course, Jesus cares what you eat. He cares how much money is your salary. He cares. He cares for your children, for your family. He protects you from the enemy. But right now, I receive that message. And the same message that uh, Apostle Peter says, did you love me more than ye? I says to the Lord, I love you, Lord. I'm here, whatever you need. And he reveals me the mission that I have to give you. You must to increase the level of your love first. That's very important. In order to be a soul winner, you must to be your neighbor, your brother, your enemy more than yourself. I don't know, it's a little hard, but that Jesus says we must to accept that instruction to increase our love. The best of the spiritual gift the Bible says is the love, covers all the mistakes. I'm going to tell you something from my experience. If you love your brother, your sister, you don't see mistakes upon them because you have already the spirit to be so winner or a problem solver. Hallelujah. Not Kurasai, not Gademic, no, no, no. That thing is not from the Lord. The most important, are you ready to be a useful, divine body, divine servant, a real servant, to help those who is in it around you? I have that spirit long here. Responsibility also. Responsible to what we say, not to preach only. What I say, I have to mean it. What you preach, you have to mean it. Not for others. I remember that years back, some priests in Greece preach about when you have two and overcoat, give one to the poor. So his wife sees that the priest who says that, he has three, four coats. And take one and give to the poor. Mm. And when she comes back in the house, she shows that missing the overcoat. She says, hey, wife, where is my overcoat? She says, you preach Sunday in the church that if you have two, <laughs> you must give one. So I take it from yours and I give to the poor. He say, no, 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 it's not for me that preaching, for others. <laughs> so the others must to do that. <laughs> the reason that we are Christ people infallible is because what we say, we mean it. If we say, I love you, means not I love you and I don't love others because of benefits sometimes. I find myself and others that sometimes because of benefits, we love one person more than the other. No, 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 no. I love you because I see the blood of Jesus upon you. So that is the, our connection. Amen. I love you because I see the Holy Spirit upon you. That's our connection. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
the spiritual connection is the most important. Things not must to be unites us. Of course, we have to care for one another. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. That's different. Okay. First of all, we need to increase. Therefore, check in the prayers and say, Lord, what is the level of my love? And the Holy Spirit is going to answer you soon. Secondly, Philippians 3, 8, 11. Philippians was the second city that Apostle Paul created. I was there with my wife. I have a video in Arshin, Macedonia. They was there and they suffered, but he finded a woman from Asia. Her name is Lydia, who carry a group of women. When the Apostle meet them, he established something new into them, hallelujah. And he baptized all of them in the water. And there was a river there. It is amazing that many rivers dry, but this is a river 2,000 years, you know, mm-hmm. now remain fresh. Mm-hmm. And, they, and they have the same water there. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Look what Apostle Paul says. More than that, I count all things to be lost in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them but rubbish, so that I may gain Christ and may be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own derived from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which comes from God on the basis of faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, being conformed to his death, in order that I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. Amen, hallelujah. So, Apostle Paul in a few words says, I don't care for everything, for materialistic life, mm-hmm. from all of that. Because he showed Jesus with his own eyes, after that, has no desire except to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, to be a soul winner, and also he saved all this idolatry nation, I'm talking about Greece. Mm-hmm. When he goes there, from Samothraki to, to Kavala, from Kavala to Neapolis, from Neapolis to Philippians, from Philippians to Thessalonians, from Thessalonians to Corinthians, Athens, and other Iceland, Crete, and all of them. He saved them. That's because always I believe local church can bring revival. It's truth. If the pastor is an anointing, the members, through the evangelist program, can save the city. But I tell you, one person can bring the different into the nation, can be a soul winner, can make a lot of things. In other words, to make the world upside down through the anointing. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. He goes there, when Jesus appeared to him, he forgets him automatically, he built his life, he connects himself with other apostles, and become powerful men, and he receive instruction, go and help them. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And he goes them and makes the city upside down, included in Athens, in Acropolis, those philosophers who philosophize, he tells them with the great wisdom, I'm here to tell you that you have many gods, but you don't have the real God in your heart. That's who we are today. There are many gods around the world, but very few people, every day more, know Jesus as Savior. They try to hide Jesus, the Bible, and Christians. They think that we are different. They will investigate now how to expose that are we are for. Why? In the rapture, they will say that, don't worry, they don't go nowhere. Aliens take them and they will kill them in another planet. <laughs> That's the program. They will tell us soon, you will see in the media, they will explore the UFO and the activities of the UFO. It's demons. Yeah. Demons already exist, already they come down from three heaven, already there are in the ocean, both the oceans, there are demons thousand years. They live in the glass houses. There are in the moon, millions there are in the moon, in some other planets. They will fall down, all of them. So, because they appear already, they can hide that. 
but they will use aliens that they take us. Who can take me from this earth if Jesus roots me as a tree, as a spiritual tree to help others? Who can reroute me? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I have a man who calls me from California and he saw three aliens out of his door. When she opened the door, they tried to hypnotize him. But he prays and aliens move. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, there are exist, mm -hmm. but they will use them as an excuse that they take us. No. Jesus is going to take us. Mm -hmm. That we believe. Mm -hmm. And we remain in the truth. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Lie cannot touch us. Mm -hmm. Cannot touch you. Lie things. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Apostle Paul, after this transformation of his life and from religion became a true man of God, he finds himself as a great love inside. And he say here, I don't care for materialistic things or something. All these things have damaged me. But because of his glory, because of his righteousness, I leave all of that. I say sometimes, nothing can impress me in this earth. Mm. If I'm here, I have to preach the gospel, nothing else. Mm. I don't have desire from many things, from materialistic things, or close to impress people. I'm not moving in the play church. I'm happy who I am. I'm happy from my call, from my people. I'm happy what I did because of him. No other situation can block my blessings. I do that, you do that because of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You understand me? And to continuously know the power of his resurrection is amazing. When the Holy Ghost rose him from the dead, the Holy Ghost installed in him unlimited power from the cross of Calvary mm -hmm. in order to fulfill his call. And his call remained timely, uprightly and works among us through his servants, through his people. You are servant, I'm servant too. Hallelujah. You are a student, I'm a student. You are disciples, I'm still disciple. Until Jesus comes, we must remain humble and disciples. We don't know many things. The revealed things is for us. Deuteronomy 29, 29. Okay? The other things is not for us. Maybe Jesus is going to reveal us later because revelation, knowledge, is start already. Mm -hmm. The book of Daniel in the last chapter says that knowledge start 50 years ago. We see electric, we see cars, we see many things in our life. Suddenly it's because the Lord increased the wisdom and the brain and from the last 50-60 years we show Many things, people with wisdom find it better things in order our life to be better. Amen. The internet also is a blessing. Yeah. That's because don't be afraid to have media or to have Facebook. The problem is to learn how to bring people through your media out of the darkness. Amen. Somebody needs a verse, somebody needs your phone on messenger, somebody needs a Bible instruction many things. So all this is blessings. But demons wants to attack it. Well, demons wants to destroy those blessings and people fray. Why I have to fray? If somebody don't likes me or don't loves me and somebody who has bad behavior, I'm going to delete it. That's it. Yeah. If she don't need me, why I have to have sorrow? But if I see a little bit that people try to find it out somebody to help him because there are not really helpers none of them there are really helpers bank says come we have the best mortgage then in the end if you don't pay the mortgage they take your house Amen. <laughs> people they lend you money nice in the beginning oh you pay for us extra money but if you don't pay them they threat you with guns so who is the helper nobody else I suffer a long time with credit cards and I ask the Lord if he gives me wisdom to help myself and others to work out of credit cards. I find a way to bless my 
main account, then I can pay cash from my money that the Lord provides me. Not I have to buy a luxury car with mortgage. That to me is Greek to me. That kind of things. You understand me? So we don't have to care to give them attention. We waste our time. Apostle Paul says, I find Jesus, I find everything. Amen. You have Jesus, you have everything. Amen. That's it. Hallelujah. Sacrifice your life. Live in sacrifice. Believe it. Tell the Lord today, tomorrow, in your prayers, I'm going to follow Jesus with any cost. It's cost me, but I'm going to follow. I sacrifice. A lot of people, they try to please themselves. They go vacation every month. They go four times a week in a luxury restaurant. That's habits, but that's habits is not gives you permanent joyful spirit. Mm -hmm. Jesus only. I have hope. If I am in my house, if I am in my backyard, if I walk, I'm the same happy man. Amen. Why? I have Jesus. I find Jesus, I have everything. Amen. That's it. Sacrifice yourself and tell the Lord to give you patience. Amen. Sometimes we do things because of impatience. Amen. Quickly, do that. Boom. We lost the patience. Patience and peace. When you go to serve the Lord, you can have anxiety, something wrong. You go to serve the Lord and be sure that Jesus spoke to you. Let us see now how the Holy Ghost creates all winners. Receive that message from me today. If you want to see around you, life shall be changed. That's our call, one of the calls. Okay? Matthew 4, 17 to 20. From that time, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now as Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. Amen. Amen. So, if you see something, John baptism and Jesus, they start with the same preaching. Mm -hmm. Amen. Repent. Without repent, you know how to receive blessings of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You have to repent to realize that you was Somebody, and Jesus wants to make you someone. Mm -hmm. It's two different people. Takes time a little, okay? He says, repent, for my kingdom has come. Hallelujah. 2,000 years. In a prophet says that the third millennium shall come. The revelation and the rapture means already 2,000 years. My kingdom time has come. I saw in my spirit. His kingdom built it. He established his kingdom 2,000 years, but his building takes time. Mm -hmm. Jesus wants to save million people. Yes. He don't want to save me and you only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. When the disciples ask him how to pray, he says, pray for the kingdom of God to come. But that was in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. In the New Testament, he is risen. Already he published his kingdom. And he walked in the sea. Jesus loves the sea, loves water, and makes them to be teachable and uses this water. Actually, our Heavenly Father from the creation into the end, mm -hmm. he used the water. In the end, he's going to restore in the water, in the new millennium, all the animals, all the old creatures in the sea, they will bring back. Great restoration comes in the new millennium. Mm -hmm. Not only on the earth, in the sea, in the sky. People lie about the problem of global warming. Mm -hmm. Okay, They lie because of the money to scare the people. In the day of Noah, you know, <laughs> so much storm, so much lighting, mm -hmm. but the ark of Noah was so peace inside. All the animals, reconciliation, mm -hmm restoration, the sheep gives milk to the tiger, <laughs> the chicken makes eggs for, for uh, Noah's family, Amen. and they have omelette in the morning. <laughs> you see, 
and the other outside pass away. Yeah. Always there are on the earth problems. Mm-hmm. Always. But Jesus renew all the time. Sometimes you see storm, you see smelling or something, mm-hmm. threatful things, and the next 10 minutes you see, you know, the sky is open. Mm-hmm. Oh, come back, restoration. Don't be afraid about that things, okay? So Jesus walking in the sea of Galilee, and he saw, actually, that's a divine appointment. It's not by accident. Jesus walked for purpose in the Galilee because the Father tell him, hey, look at here. Mm-hmm. In this area, there are some fishermen, but I want my son to use you to make them fishermen of souls. Mm-hmm. That be soul winner. Simon and his brother was a fisherman. And he tells them, come behind me, not front of me. <laughs> Because sometimes as human beings, we go front of the Holy Ghost. And sometimes we guide the Holy Ghost. No, we have to go behind. He said, come behind me and make sure soul winners, fishermen of men. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something in the moment, okay? When you are minister, when you are leader, you have to find it all by yourself as a fisherman from the ocean, not from the basket. Sometimes pastors, all of their leaders, they steal people from another church. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, they go for preaching and then say, come to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jesus never support leaders who are looking for fishes from the basket. Mm-hmm. He's looking for fishermen mm-hmm. who goes inside in the ocean, in the midst of the waves, mm-hmm. and makes them. And the 20 says, and they leave everything. I want to tell you something. Also the day of the rapture, when you see the signs of Jesus coming on the earth, he say, if you are in the kitchen, don't go to pick up things. Leave it. Go outside, wait. And <laughs> if you see a trumpet of heaven, say, be ready. Frap. In a few seconds, you go to meet your creator. So beautiful. Just because Jesus says, where is your heart, is your love. Mm-hmm. If you love things on the earth, you can go out of your environment. You want to take it some gold mm-hmm. that you hide, it, some rings for your mother. <laughs> no, no, no. Leave all of them. No one of us, we can take it nothing on this earth. Job advises us. I came naked mm-hmm. and I'm going naked. Mm-hmm. That's it. You don't need nothing. Jesus needs naked people, spiritually, to take you and to cover you, to dress you, to give you another body, new body, powerful body, healthy body. You can go with the diabetes or cholesterol mm-hmm. or uh, your pills, <laughs> to take your pills <laughs> in heaven. Yeah. Hallelujah. He wants to speak to you in faith, to accept. Yes, Lord, what do you say? A minute. Hallelujah. And they leave everything. That's it. If the Holy Ghost sees in your heart and puts you to be a soul winner, oh my God, so beautiful. There is spiritual salary. If you save one person, you make the heaven very glad upon that. You know that? Of course. If you bring salvation, tell the Lord, go in your room. The day of your fasting, maybe. Lord, Use me to save people. Give me this person. Give me this person. I want to tell you something. Years back, when I traveled, I said, Lord, can you put somebody to talk about you next to me on the plane? <laughs> and sometimes, you know, Popo, amazing things happen. There comes the right person next to me. I remember that it was a woman from my background next to me and takes all the time pills. I ask her, why you tell pills? I have a seed, I have that, I'm afraid. I say, listen, I'm the right person, you know, to help you. And I tell her, and she accepts what she said. He said, you give me peace. I give you peace because I'm cares for you. I was like this. So tell the Lord beautiful desires that you have in your heart. You go to supermarket. Maybe the Lord gives you somebody to talk. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Sometimes in the cash. I say, God bless you. God bless you too, they tell me. Mm-hmm. Ah, your sister, ah, yes, I'm church person. Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> like, 
open your mouth. So first priority, you know, they leave everything. That's because when you start that kind of heavenly desires to be fulfilled in your life, don't look back because demons is going to come mm -hmm. sometimes to tell you, ah, that things you believe. You are blessed, that's it. Leave it all of that. Mm -hmm. No, because the Bible says, Luke 9, 61, 62. Another also said, I will follow you, Lord, but first permit me to say goodbye to those at home. But Jesus said to him, no one, after putting his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Amen. So if you believe, say yes. 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 From the time that the Lord gives you an arrow and touch the arrow to go forth, you can't turn back to see. Forget about it. That for many things. Yeah. If you have some thoughts for somebody, if some sorrowful stuff in your life, if you touch the arrow to go forth in God's kingdom, don't turn back. That's because we have to say my past is over. When I say my past is over, I fulfill it. Mm. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. In your environment, Jesus appointed you to be someone to be someone unique. And he's going to give you something unique. The time that Jesus is coming to give you is unique time and purpose. So the Lord has significant ideas about you. And when he starts to teach you somebody for a better level, you are not replaceable. No. You go to see outside in many departments. You will see them after disappear. Why? They don't find it that this is the right person in this office. Mm -hmm. They don't find it that this person has to do this job. You don't find it many things. But in Christ, when Jesus calling you personal and put you for a purpose in a group, you have to stay until the end. Nobody else replaceable because Jesus already spent time for you. Mm -hmm. My team before the storm Sunday in uh, Long Island was more big, mm -hmm. more secretaries, more people singing, all of that. But Jesus find it that I have too much people around me. Mm -hmm. And he find that my ministry is supposed to be worldwide with small people, group strong, and a lot of people around me who I must bless them with my experience. And actually, I find myself those who was there from before, they came here from unusual spring. Mm. They came and today, after 25 years, Jesus gives them position. As he said to King David, you can't build this old temple for me. I'm gonna give you this man, this man, this woman, this woman, this woman. So, all of us, we are responsible to fulfill, but also we must keep the unity in love. And if something happens, we must confess and repent quickly in order to see the new glory upon us. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So I can lose no one, but I can connect spiritually with everyone. The Lord provides me why those days. I'm thankful to the Lord. I'm happy. The Lord provides me secretaries, cameramen, all of them for purpose. So Jesus brought them, not alien. It's not alien in me, unknown people. So if somebody, for some reason, demons try to attack them, I stand on my feet as a father and I cast out the demons. I don't cast out people. Sometimes the church is people left quickly. For what? What is the reason I have to lose somebody? If Jesus appointed them, Jesus, you know, in his plantation, when he root a tree or a flower, they have to remain there. Mm -hmm. He can root and re-root and re-root in another place, mm -hmm. but he can cut it. If we are flowers, beautiful flowers in God's garden, his owner, he can come to cut it. If she thinks that I'm passed away, okay, mm -hmm. I can go to the Lord quickly. Hallelujah. But if I stay here and my Creator see is necessary, John, stay in USA, I have to stay in this boat as good captain and all others, not people who carry my baggages, people who has anointing 
purpose. That because we have successful life. That because so many testimonies every day, simple things. Every morning, every day by day, we have testimonies, we have miracles, we have signs and wonders, symbol. Who have the enemy, of course. But we know that Jesus is able to start with us from one point to go with another. That's it. And I'm staying on it in love and compassion. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I want to tell you, soul winner must be your life in the light. Your personal life is supposed to be a light in order people to see and to say, oh, that's a different person. You look different. She talks very nice from me, better than me. He's smiling. I see hope on him. That's kind of qualification we must to carry. Like a good Samaritan finds somebody on the street good. He can fulfill it, his mission and his call, if she was stingy man. She takes care of him and goes to the place for healing. And he say to the hotel over there, the man, I give you that money, but if you spend more, I'm here. Means cares continuously, cares for a wounded soul. So I think he win him through his behavior. His testimony speaks, his life speaks to them. Sometimes our life speaks, then people cannot to excavate who we are. Look at the Samaritan woman. Was not a woman with good life. She was not a person who pleased God. But he knows about the Old Testament, he knows about Moses, he knows everything. But he has an obstacle of his bad behavior. You say five husbands, you take it, but that you have is not your husband. But Jesus forgive them so quickly. And after this conversation with Jesus, and she understand what Jesus' water was better than the physical water from the well of Jacob, she goes back and tells them, I find the Messiah. Expose the truth. And all the city came to see Messiah. She becomes so quickly a soul winner. Amen. Amazing woman. He takes the gift. He takes the first priority of the mouth of Jesus. He receives the water and saves the city. Mm -hmm. That's soul winner ministry. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And still all the pastors likes to preach that. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus revealed to her. It's coming time, my daughter, that the true worshiper shall be worship me with Holy Ghost and the true. Amen. She was the first woman who introduced us that the true worshipers shall be the born again people. Amen. You can't be in denomination or in religion to worship Jesus because they will cast out you. <laughs> they don't have that kind of behavior. I was Orthodox before. My wife was Orthodox. We repent, confess, and left. We love them. Mm -hmm. But Jesus brought us out of the religion, and now we worship Jesus by His Spirit. Amen. Amen. John 4, 23, 24. Hallelujah! You have to be happy that you are a true worshiper. Amen. I want you to go to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, 13 to 15. Also this I came to see as wisdom under the sun, and it impressed me. There was a small city with a few men in it, and a great king came to it, surrounded it, and constructed large siege works against it. But there was found in it a poor wise man, and he delivered the city by his wisdom. Mm -hmm. Yet no one remembered that poor man. You see? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! So the most important in order to be soul winner, you must be a person with wisdom of God yeah. in order to carry these blessings upon you. And he said, there was a city small, there was a man, and God used the wisdom of this man and saved the city. One person, I remember that 10 years ago I went to Pakistan, the first time I went was very successfully, and the other missions. The Lord showed me that I'm going to give you a harvest of souls. Huh. I don't understand that in the beginning because the church was small and I was disappointed. I have no revelation what's going on. So I go there and I saw only 100, 150 people there. The first meeting. 
the Lord show me, wait, be patient. I don't bring you by accident here. The first day, I was a little uncomfortable, but it happened something and the Lord encouraged me. I was praying in the middle of the service and somebody who has a problem with liver, he had a dream. Jesus says to him tomorrow, go to John and he's going to pray and give you new liver. Wow. I say, okay, I'm going to pray. He comes. When I call people, he comes first. So, yeah, I will pray. Then the next day, he comes and say, I went to the doctor, but he can't find it nothing. Mm. I'm okay. I'm healed. Praise the Lord. Mm. Everybody around sees what happened, and they come the next day 400. Mm. <laughs> so among the 400, when it was time that a Muslim woman suffered and takes a knife and cut it off here, and blood. They brought me some deacons and I pray. When I pray with the blood, I touch her and I say, Lord, <laughs> you're a great healer. Other things in this night, more testimonies. So the third day <laughs> was 800. The church was packed, jump packed. The windows, all of them, all comes, no space to walk. Oh my God, I put testimonies, three hours testimonies, people, without me to have an idea what Jesus do it. <laughs> then, the third day the pastor has, Brother John, I have problem with you. I said, what is your problem? I have 4,000 visitors, where I put them? <laughs> In the garden, the garden was big. They stay down, organized. And the most important in American church, sometimes all see women or men go to toilet all the time, urinate, come back, urinate, come back. Four hours stay in the ground, no one's moved Amen. to toilet. Amen. Nobody else has prostrate or something, I don't know. Amen. The Lord touch them and give them peace. And they have a... A plunge all the day, sing to the Lord. The pastor tells me, the government tells us, 10 o'clock. You have to finish. I forget that. <laughs> because the Lord puts me in my heart continuously. 12.30 in the night, till we are in the preaching. Then I tell the pastor, somebody wants to baptize them. I say, I'm an apostle, you have to baptize them. But because I came here, okay. There was a big line, I don't know. 150 people in the beginning. I do that a few times. They come to receive baptism of the water. It was so important for them to receive a baptism of the water. They kissed me they, like, with fear, holy fear. They come in the water and many of them who was religion background, Muslims and all of that, they speak in unknown tongues. You know, one woman, I have a, a picture and a video. I have video from all of that. When I, I push in the water, comes out, she starts to pray in tongues. Ora Santa Rabaria, Rokom Palila, Rwantaria, Maria. Oh, beautiful. After I find it out and my eyes open, when God sent you somewhere, yeah. He provides and protects and blessings. Amen. Amen. That's it. If God yeah. sent you, yes. I don't take it any fish from the basket. There was many around the churches, but I sent them back to the pastor. Amen. More blessed, respectful. I say, stay in the pastor. Stay there. Pray for your pastor. That is the will of God. We have apostolic call. Praise the Lord. So I was happy and my mind was open. And after that, every mission of God was successfully because I don't plan it. Many things to impress people. I go there a little, my baggage, a little clothes, that's it. I can stay wherever the Lord wants. So when we trust in God, He has the plan. Yeah. Amen. That's it. No, I will do that, I will do No, I'm going to preach and I know what happened. <laughs> if the Lord moved me to pray, I pray. If the Lord moved me to deliver, deliver. The Holy Ghost, He don't accept it for us as human beings, any plan. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus comes in the morning. 
know, comes that or do that. No, no. He's going to come when he feels comfortable, the Holy Spirit, with yes. us. When he feels that he sends us to do that. Yes. And then the results come. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. I'm going to tell you something in order to, to finish, okay? Jesus is going to visit many churches mm. soon. And he's going to increase the level of spirituality of many churches. Mm. And many pastors, they will be confessed and come back into the anointing. Mm. I believe that. Some others look warm, it's questionable. But I'm going to tell you, we need spiritual churches to impact the world with the gospel mm -hmm. but Jesus looking for one person to make the world upside down mm -hmm. why I tell you that listen in your environment you can make the difference in your city wherever you can make the difference from others mm -hmm. if you have that kind of strong desire to serve the Lord I want to tell you something Moses personal call after all these things 80 years old. Mm -hmm. I want to use you, Moses, to deliver my people and to take that from the darkness, from Egypt, into the promised land. Right now we have Jesus, the most heavenly product to take out. Abraham, alone, I'm going to make you a father of all nations. David, he was an amazing king, prophet. Not all of them was like King David. Apostle Paul, Peter, Peter used the anointing in the first apostolic church and like a sad dough the anointing of all people. <laughs> when everybody passed through Peter, <laughs> no flesh. Then he used personal, he find it personal, Apostle Paul, and say you have to do that and that and that. That's it. That's because he saw his glory, he keeps that glory, and he say, I don't care for nothing else. Bubbles. I want to see the resurrection power of his sacrifice. I pray for that spirit to come upon you. Amen. Amen.